Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ. This week on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend, you'll see the crown of Glory Championship defended as Calvin Tankman takes on number one contender, Kenny Alfonso. Shanta McKenzie has a massive test on her hands in the devastating Heidi Howitzer. And you'll see the Glory Pro Wrestling debut of the Outrunners as they step in to take on the always exciting tag team of Dan the Dead and our fun uncle, Colt Cabana. <laughs> Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ. By any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? Oh, the Outrunners are here on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend for the very first time. And wait, which ones are the Outrunners? What? Uh, they are eccentric, that's for sure. Fisting already? Pre match? That, that sounds better. Somebody, somebody's got to update Ben's notes. That, uh, I'm sure he is the fun uncle. Well, the Outrunners look ready. Whoa, somebody said something negative about Magnum PI. And Truth Magnum just, he just about lost it. So that's Truth Magnum on your left, Turbo Floyd on your right. I don't think I need to tell you who Dan the Dad and Cole Cabana are. The Outrunners making their Glory Pro Wrestling debut. You know, I asked a friend uh, in another company in which the Outrunners work about what it's like to hang out with the Outrunners. And he said, if you remember it, you weren't really there. I said, what are you talking about? He said, yes. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, Cold Cabana dropping off the sunglasses at ringside. In all seriousness, the Outrunners are extremely strong as a tag team. Former two-time OVW Southern Tag Team Champions. Truth Magnum, who is starting in this matchup against Dan the Dad, is a 15-year veteran. He's won the OVW television title three times, and in total is a seven-time OVW Southern Tag Team Champion. His partner, Turbo Floyd, has also won three times the OVW TV title. The 15-year veteran, Truth Magnum, gets pushed back to the buckles by Dan the Dad. And it's a clean break. Oh, the little rub to the, uh, the hairstyle. And immediately the bigger Turbo Floyd is gonna come into the ring. Oh. 
He just wanted to fix the hair. All right, they'll circle. Call her an elbow tie-up. Side headlock from Truth Magnum. Cole Cabana has more experience in this matchup than nearly the other three combined at 24 years as Truth Magnum. Oh, he got tripped. Oh, he landed flat on his face. And now Colt, uh, <laughs> he just came in for a chuckle. Cradle pin. Just a count of two. Off the ropes. Whoa, Truth missed wildly. And a second time. Dan, he's got something. No, no, he, apparently he doesn't. Uh, I think Truth did his homework on that one. Truth Magnum with the tag into Turbo Floyd. And look at the size of Turbo Floyd. The six-year veteran from the second rope on the inside is going to come flying down. Oh, wait a minute. Dan stopped him. Turbo's got something? That, oh, maybe he does. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to check. Maybe he feels it. Oh, double arm ringer. Dan goes off the ropes, duck underneath the double clothesline. Dan steps through, double shoulder block. Oh, I've never seen Dan do that before. And he's gonna look to the corner. The fun uncle is tied up in the tag rope. Here comes Colt Cabana, the former two-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion, amongst all kinds of other accolades. And <laughs> He's telling Turbo to look down. That Turbo Floyd is fighting it. And that big neck able to get him out of it. And he breaks everything up with the right hand. Now drops Dan to the outside. Oh, my goodness. Arm ringer by Turbo Floyd. Cole Cabana comes back underneath. Snaps him all the way through. Turbo Floyd trying to get back to his corner. And he and Truth Magnum need to regroup on the outside. Oh, what is going on here? Colt Cabana, in case you are unaware, mentioned the two NWA World Heavyweight titles, two NWA National Heavyweight titles, twice an ROH World Tag Team Champion as well. He's walked the same roads as the Outrunners. He's a former OVW Television and Southern Tag Team Champion. As Turbo Floyd tags into Truth Magnum. And now the two individual most experienced in the matchup will step in. That's 15 years for Magnum against 24 years for Dan the da uh, for uh, Colt Cabana. Pardon me. As Colt is, and oh, Dan's gonna give it. A little bit of Randy Savage there. So Colt Cabana at 24 years of wrestling experience. The other three men in the match combined for 30. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And now Colt is, what, what is Colt doing? What is he about to do? Truth Magnum is, is warning him about something. What, what is this going to be? Whoa, whoa, he's warming it up. Oh, Colt Cabana with the spin. Here comes Truth Magnum. He got caught. And it's an airplane spin. Genius. Turbo Floyd's in. He's got two. He just keeps on going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Everybody's dizzy. Dan the Dad's going to make his way in. Colt's got to reset himself. Both the outrunners in some trouble. Off the ropes, they go up, oh, duck down from Dan and Colt. Caught the kicks, almost suckered them in. Oh no, no, oh, they both look down! <laughs> that time, they got him! Oh, and it's time to go to school! Figure four, no, off the ropes. Oh, outrunners got caught. A little bit of a, a standing toe, wait, what is, what is Colt doing? He's got the legs of, oh my goodness! This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen! Colt Cabana! Just great fun. <laughs> Turbo Magnum and Truth Floyd into a figure four on each other. <laughs> Another reverse. <laughs> for crying out loud. Oh, I've never seen anything like this in my life. What in the world is going on? Can they even get a rope break? It's their own partner to. <laughs> oh. Oh. Turbo Floyd 
has the problem with his tibia. This is unbelievable. Whoa, slingshot back in. The outrunners got out of the way. Oh, and they reversed it and set them both into the railing. Oh, I don't know if the outrunners knew what they were getting into when they got into this matchup. Oh, now, <laughs> our fun uncle has gone, and I still don't know what is in that mug. If that's coffee, it's the strongest coffee I've ever seen in my life. Oh, no! No, the Outrunners! Oh, trying to put an end to the good times! They post Cabana! Back into the ring comes Turbo Floyd. And now Truth Magnum. Oh, they, they took the coffee cup. You can't take the coffee cup! Power slam by Turbo Floyd. And now the Outrunners with a little bit of celebration. Is Cole Cabana drinking that beer while he's... Never mind. reaching out to try to give it to Dan. As Truth Magnum, elbow down to the triceps of Dan the Dad. And now the Outrunners have stopped the party. Off the ropes goes Dan, ducked down from Truth. Up and over the top goes Dan. He's gonna try to bring him through. Turbo Floyd's gonna step his way in. Truth was not legal, and Turbo is. Turbo with a kick to the back, and Turbo Floyd still has hold of the coffee mug. Throws a knee while holding it. I feel like this isn't the first time he's done this. And now what, what's he got it? What Turbo Floyd? What he's got a he's got a handle lock on the mug. That's wait a minute, a handle lock on the mug. What? In it? I do have a college degree. You know this, correct? All right, I just want to make sure. As Dan the Dad throwing knife edge chops, Turbo Floyd steps his way back in. Hands the mug back over to Truth Magnum. I'm doing play-by-play -play on a mug. All right, Truth Magnum puts the mug down. He'll fly into the corner. Oh, Dan was already down, and I think Magnum put his head right into the midsection. Cole Cabana trying to get himself reset on the floor as Dan is in big trouble. Dan crawling his way over towards the mug. What is in that mug? Turbo Floyd pulls Dan back to the corner of the Outrunners, and they'll make the switch. There was no tag there. And the fans of the Gateway Center here in Collinsville, Illinois, no, there was no tag there. Remember, coming up later on tonight on Ascend, the Crown of Glory Championship on the line, Calvin Tankman against number one contender, Kenny Alfonso. Right hand from Dan the Dad, make it two. Dan, back elbow strike lands. Oh, and Turbo Floyd into the corner just uses the size to hold him in there. Truth Magnum, snapmare. Dan flat down. Truth Magnum is, oh, threatening, and he missed with the knee drop. Maybe a little bit too much of the threatening over to Colt. Turbo Floyd's in, off the ropes he goes. Missed the elbow, but Dan ended up further away from his partner. Dan in the wrong part of town. A smart move by Turbo Floyd. If he was going to miss, he at least missed towards his own side. Oh, now, better chance for Dan as Truth Magnum's going to step back in. The official's going to do something about this as Dan rolls his way through to the corner. Dan's got the mug. In comes Floyd. Back elbow strike. He'll charge. Boot comes up. Dan with a sip. More of a chug. Second rope on the inside. Dan seated on the top. He tosses the mug to the outrunners. Look out! Double shotgun drop kick. He finished it off before he tossed the mug. And oh, Cabana's going to toss it right back to him. They just went and mugged the bottle. Duck underneath the clothesline is Cabana's legal. Overhand chop to Magnum. Knife edge to Floyd. Now Turbo Floyd reeling, Truth Magnum reeling, and Cole Cabana is in control. Look out, Turbo Floyd into his own partner. Colt with a chug on the bottle. Oh, he missed it him. Uh, wasn't quite the great Muda, but it worked. Wait a minute, Truth Magnum. He gets a hold of it. He's going to blow the miss. Oh, he got <laughs> Turbo. Turbo is not going to smell very good after this. Turbo Floyd. <laughs> Just took the miss twice. Oh, wait a minute. Our referee, that's Alex Strand. Whoa, 
Oh, that was a bit. Oh, no. What? What is? What? Did, I think it went down the wrong way. It went down the wrong way. Colts trying to help him out. First aid training. Oh, no. And now Truth Matt gets hit with the mist. I believe that's called the Missouri mist, to be exact. Oh, yeah, there you go. He saved the referee. After he almost drowned him. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Stereo jabs. The outrunners rocking and reeling. But now they got Str Strand's got to hold both. Little flip flop and fly. And Uncle Charlie. They both land. <laughs> what in the world is happening here? Well, a little top up into the mug of Dan the Dad. Truth Magnum caught by Cole Cabana. Oh, Turbo Floyd the reversal. Right, cheers in the middle of the ring. You gotta love it. A little bit of friendship action right there. Now out of the way. The outrunners come together. Double roll up. Double pin. Count of two. And they got it. Anytime Cole Cabana is in Glory Pro, you know something strange is going to take place, and that has got to be one of the strangest things I've ever called. But in the end, Dan the Dad and Cole Cabana, one way or another, end up with their arms raised, and you know what? The Glory Pro fans are having a blast with it. Coming up next, Shaza McKenzie takes on Heidi Howitzer. We're on the road to the Crown of Glory Championship in the main event. You are watching Ascend. We start with fresh shredded lettuce. Add in thin sliced local tomatoes. Every sandwich gets topped with our secret recipe sauce, cage sauce. All these elements top our steakhouse quality beef and American cheese to create the chopped cheese. A standard above the rest. Only from Central State Sandwiches. Quality. If you're into music from the 80s and 90s, classic arcade games, hanging out at the mall, watching cult classic movies from the 80s on VHS, if any of this stuff is up your alley, I've got the podcast for you. America's Pop Culture Trivia Show with Joe Parisi. Each episode features 21 fast-paced pop culture trivia questions with an 80s and 90s focus. Over 150 episodes are available right now wherever you get your podcasts. Billy C. Duck underneath by Matt Bennett. Oh! He went downstairs! Well, the bean towners went to the beans. Oh, Philly C able to reverse. He is still staggered, although Taven hops back in. Sunset drive, sunset drive. This one's over. Hook of the inside leg, count of two. What the hell is this? The crew is in. Oh, they've got to ruin one of the best tag team matches I've seen in a long time. Think about this. Collinsville wants to see it, but PME and the Kingdom have gone nearly 15 minutes while the crew have been resting in the back. Oh! Well, clearly the Kingdom were a little upset. Stereo super kicks from Taven and Bennett. Mike Ellis got the other belt. What the hell is this? Oh, this is nonsense! This is disgusting! Look at the leg, kind of one! No! 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 You have 
have to be kidding me! He makes it sound good. It was a hell of a night tonight. Tonight we walked in. Six man tag. What up? Chris Hendricks. What up? Who? 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 It doesn't matter who. What matters is that we walked out tonight with what we were supposed to have a long time ago. These United Glory Tag Team titles. Put some respect on our name. Ooh, you have no idea what Glory Pro has coming. Real name, no gimmick. Mike Outlaw, the whole thing, Raheem De La Sway. Tell your friends about us. <laughs> mm. uh, oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ. are getting a huge ovation here in Collinsville. This contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, originally from Sydney, Australia, now regretfully residing in St. Louis, Missouri, Heartbreak for Shaza McKenzie. Shaza McKenzie wants to be the queen of St. Louis. Hailing from a future torn apart by endless war between babes and robots, the Red Warrior, Heidi Hollowitzer. This is going to be a tough test for Shaza McKenzie. Shaza giving up size and strength in the matchup. And Heidi Howitzer is an expert at putting the bad mouth on her opponents. On the uh, hockey rink, she would be known as a chirp show. And I think part of that is because she knows how epically tough she is. As they'll, oh, thought it was gonna be call her an elbow. It's a go behind by Shaza. And uh, exactly. Not a good move by Shaza McKenzie as Heidi Howitzer ducks the hip back into her. Shaza's going to have to use speed and agility in this matchup. Trying to match strength with Heidi Howitzer isn't going to work. As Shaza, who has had some wars in Glory Pro Wrestling, think back to the rivalry with Laney Luck, including their street fight. As Shaza getting loose. Heidi is just having fun. And now Shaza goes downstairs with the kick. Side headlock and again. Do not put yourself in a spot where Heidi Howitzer can play the power game because it will not end well for you. Shaza sent off the ropes to the center. Heidi Howitzer puts the shoulder right through. Off the ropes goes Heidi. Drop down by Shaza and oh. Smart move there by Heidi. She'll hit the brakes. And for Shaza to regroup again. Knife edge chop lands. Shaza's gonna have to speed up. Ow. Heidi is just constantly putting the bad mouth on her opposition. It's gotta be intimidating when you're in the ring with Heidi Howitzer. You know she's gonna beat you up. And she's gonna talk about it while she's doing it. Howitzer across the ring, running hip attack. Shaw's out of the way, and that's what I'm talking about. If Shaw's is gonna have any, absolutely any success in this matchup, it's gotta be done with speed, it's gotta be done with agility, and for Shaza, maybe a few underhanded tricks. As she'll lay Heidi out over the second ring rope, and what is, oh! Shaza going to the body with those kicks. Place him right below the throat, coming right onto the collarbones. Oh, and then a boot to the side of the face. That'll rock the jawline. And then spikes Heidi down into the canvas. Nice combination put together there by Shaza, but that's not gonna be enough. 
Now Shasta trying to pile in those hammer fists down to the side of the head of Heidi Howitzer. Don't think that's gonna do a whole lot of damage, but it might be a little bit more insulting. Shaza again, keeping Heidi caught in the ropes. That's what she's gonna have to do. Again, it might be a little underhanded. The count's gonna come in from referee Adam Kennedy, but she doesn't have a choice. Giving up a ton of size and strength in the matchup. She's gonna have to play to her strengths. Snapmare takeover, kick right to the spine. And Shaza again, puts the boot to the back of Heidi Howitzer. Spinning Heidi around. Just landing that right in between the shoulder blades. Again, it may not be devastating, but it's gonna be enough to really do some pain management for Heidi Howitzer as a leaping leg lariat. That one is gonna be a little bit more painful. Heidi spiked the back of her head off the canvas. Shaza though still taking way too much time. And she's allowed Heidi back to her feet. And there's the downside. You cannot play that game with Heidi Howitzer. Duck underneath. Shaw's off the ropes. Caught coming in. Tilt to whirl head scissor. No. Oh, got the Russian leg sweep. Maybe into a submission attempt. And it looks like Heidi's got the neck. Or pardon me. Uh, Shaw's has got the neck captured. And now putting the elbow into the side of Heidi Howitzer. And she's got the arm bent back. She's putting the elbow into the side, but I almost wonder if she connected her hands going palm to palm, if she'd get more on the shoulders and really make that a submission threat. Back up to her feet. Heidi, there's the hip toss to get Shaza away. It was a nice submission move there by Shaza. She went for that elbow to the side to inflict more immediate pain. I think she would have got more stretch if she'd connected the hands. As Shaza off to the corner. Drives the knee through the side of the head of Heidi Howitzer. And again, that's where Shots is going to have her success. Speed it up. Use the strikes. Hook of the outside leg. Count of two and a half. If you stand in front of Heidi Howitzer and try to strike with her, you're going to lose. If you speed up the matchup, hit and move, and pinpoint those strikes, you've got a chance. To the buckles. Shaza rocks the head of Heidi Howitzer. Knife edge chop. Don't waste time. Second one reigns in. I think she's just making Heidi mad. And now gonna break off the two count from Adam Kennedy. Shaza taking a lot of time here. Charged in and got caught with the boot. Heidi, belly to back, and it's a Saito suplex. High angle, landed right on the back of the neck. That's exactly what I was talking about. You give Heidi Howitzer an opening and she's gonna crash right through. Shaza trying to pull herself up in the corner. Heidi to her knees, now to a foot. Both feet standing in the center of the ring. Shaza trying to regroup in the corner. Heidi's been on the receiving end for a bit, but that'll help turn it around. Running Larry in the corner. And a second time. And Shaza's rocked. And now it's going to be the running hip attack. Into the corner goes Heidi. She nailed it. Off the ropes. Heidi again. In combination. And now a little bit of insult to injury of her own. Hooks the outside leg. Count of two. And that's all. Shaza McKenzie is extremely resilient. We do know that. Again, you go back to her wars with Laney Luck and everything that those two ladies put each other through. And you can tell Heidi's back in control of the matchup because she's back to talking while she's stomping a mud hole. Oh, roll up from the backside as Shaz was able to fight her way down. Heidi back to her feet, boot downstairs and a stunner. And Shaza, smart. I don't know if it was intentional, but it winds up being smart. Shaza takes the stunner and rolls out to the floor. Heidi Howitzer, no doubt, is going to follow her out. Pinfall or submission. Got to roll Heidi back in, or got to roll Shaza back into Heidi. She'll do exactly that. Could have tried to take a count out, but that is not the way Heidi Howitzer operates. Oh, inside cradle. Shaza, count one, two, did not get the other leg hooked. Oh, Heidi, knife edge chop, up to the shoulders goes Shaza. 
Shaw's like, I think she got the eyes that time. Oh, there's that split stutter. Hook of the outside leg, is it enough? It is! Shazza McKenzie on a mission to make herself the queen of glory pro wrestling, the queen of St. Louis. A big win over Heidi Hallitzer will go a long way in that department. Don't go anywhere. Calvin Tankman, Kenny Alfonso, the crown of glory. It's on the line and our main event is next. tell you that Magnum DD gets the job done. The job was to beat Xavier Walker. So when I was out there, I wasn't surprised at all because I don't take things personally. Xavier's been taking everything that's been going on between us personally the last couple months. That's why he let his emotions get control of him. But when I was out there, he's slapping me in the chest and it stung and it stung. I kept my composure. I didn't take it personally. Because it's like I always say, gotta go. Dak Draper, you must have lost your mind. See, when you cost me the match against Rohit and Carl, I had my eyes so dead set on Rohit that I gave you a pass. But when you cost me the crown against Calvin Tankman, man, I just, I just can't let that go. Now you say you all about your money. You say it's not personal. But when you mess with me, it get personal real quick. So I just got off the phone with Glory Pro Management. And they gave me the go-ahead at the Gateway Center. Is Big Flexi Xavier Walker versus Dak Draper in a street fight? You want to go to war? War ain't never bothered me. I'm going to beat your ass half to death for costing me the crown. Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ by any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? Now, that music can only mean one thing the crown of glory champion. With Cinco holding the belt high. Next victim on the list. And as you see behind Cinco, the new United Glory Tag Team Champions, or at least half of them, Raheem De La Suede comes out as part of the entourage alongside Mason St. Goods. Mike Outlaw and Raheem captured the United Glory titles in our main event last week on Ascend. A chance for Cinco to really press an advantage here in Glory Pro. Can they keep all the gold in the crew? There is the crown of Glory champion, one of the most devastating athletes in professional wrestling today. But oh, does he have a challenge on his hands in a highly motivated high flyer, Kenny Alfonso, Ben into you.
can see the bad blood between Kenny Alfonso and the champion Calvin Tankman. And his opponent, accompanied by Cinco, Vincent St. Goods, and United Glory Tag Team Champion Raheem De La Suey. From Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing 355 pounds, he is the defending Crown Glory Champion, Heavyweight Hustle. Heavyweight hustle. The 10th crown of glory champion. And oh, he's going to start this match hot. Firing in at Kenny Alfonso with the knife edge chop. He wants to cave the challenger's chest in early. Boots from Tankman in the corner. That'll drop Alfonso to the seat of his pants. And Alfonso now being strangled as Tankman stands on the collarbone with the boot. And right away, the crew over to tell Kenny Alfonso all about it. Tankman across the ring. They're already telling him it's going to be easy work. The bell now sounds, and Calvin Tankman is already way out ahead. Knife edge chop. And again, caving the chest of Kenny Alfonso. Tankman, as mentioned, he is the 10th Crown of Glory champion. Won the title June 24th over Camaro Jackson in a very suspect victory at Del Mar Hall. And Kenny Alfonso, one of Camaro Jackson's best friends, is showing off the extreme athleticism. Alfonso earned this opportunity on ascend, winning a three-way matchup with Shane Sabre and Cody Lane. And look at the agility of Tankman! That is why Calvin Tankman is one of the scariest athletes in pro wrestling today. Kenny Alfonso, back elbow. Missile, drop kick, and out to the floor goes Tankman. Oh, there's a reason they call Kenny Alfonso second to none, and that is the athleticism, which is about to be on full display. Oh, and already the crew causing trouble. Mason St. Goods and Raheem De La Suede cut off the challenger. Watch out, Tankman shoved them aside. Oh, Tankman caught out with one arm. That's disturbing strength. Tankman just pulled him through the ropes. On the floor, not the floor. Oh, the ring apron's not any better. Power bomb by Tankman. Spine hits where wood meets steel for Alfonso. Calvin Tankman. 28 years old, the seven-year pro, the champion. Kenny Alfonso, 26 years old, the six-year pro, the challenger. Alfonso from Kansas City, Missouri. Tankman, Indianapolis, Indiana. If this were an NFL game, right now you would think that the nod would go to Kansas City. But this is far from the gridiron. Forearm lands to the jawline and a second time. Power slam there from Calvin Tankman. And you can hear from the outside, I believe that's Cinco saying, stay down, Kenny. We know he's not going to do that, but Calvin Tankman is not going to make this easy. Cinco holding the gold. Tankman taunting Alfonso with it. And Alfonso, oh, from a seated position on the mat, was getting some impressive strength behind those kicks to the leg of Tankman. He's chopping away at the tree. And Alfonso may have found a weakness. Listen to those kicks snap. Alfonso off the ropes, caught. Slam down. Spine rattles off the canvas. And Alfonso may feel like a bolt of lightning just escaped out his toes. And Calvin Tankman in complete control of the matchup once again. And of course with Cinco, Mason St. Goods and Raheem De La Suede standing on the outside, it makes it even tougher for Kenny Alfonso. Again, I've talked so much about Cinco and how he's put this crew of vultures together. Oh my goodness gracious. But look at the crew that Cinco has put together and tell me right now, whether you love him or you hate him, that he isn't the smartest man in professional wrestling. Calvin Tankman, Mike Outlaw, two 
Crown of Glory champions, Raheem De La Suede, two-time United Glory Tag Team champion, and Mason St. Goods, a future champion. Oh, and caving the chest in once again of Kenny Alfonso with a knife edge chop, and Tankman, oh, he threw him! He threw him damn near halfway across the ring! From Collinsville, Kenny nearly landed back in Kansas City. Tankman could have cleared the Mississippi River with that toss. As Tankman wanders over once again and puts the boot to the side of the head of Kenny Alfonso. Tankman is in complete control of this matchup and he is not at all afraid to let Kenny Alfonso know that. Although Kenny's starting to chop away with those kicks, Tankman captures him. Tankman holding Kenny Alfonso in that corner. Knife edge, chop lands, and Alfonso's rocked. Tankman again, pulling him back up. He'll capture, and again, send him clear across the ring. Air traffic control in St. Louis just called. They want to report an unidentified flying object. Wow. And Tankman is entirely prepared to take a count out here. Adam Kennedy is up to five. Kenny Alfonso starting to stir. Tankman just stood back in the corner and let this count happen. This would essentially be a TKO, but it's not going to be, at least on this occasion, as Kenny Alfonso back to his feet. Oh, Alfonso had enough of the bad mouth there from Tankman. Knife edge chop lands. That made Tankman mad. Forearm lands to the side of the jaw. And again, Alfonso down. This man is a monster. Calvin Tankman asking Kenny Alfonso, do you still want it? He ain't going to quit. We know that about Kenny Alfonso. He ain't going to quit. The referee, Adam Kenny, will have to stop this matchup before Kenny Alfonso quits. And Kenny's far from done just yet. Series of forearms. Tagman comes back. See, there's the difference in the strength. It takes one forearm from Tagman, but Kenny fires back up. Lefts and rights. And look at the way he turns those overs near elbow strike. Duck underneath from Kenny. He's got to use the speed. He's got to use the agility. There it is, ducking underneath those big roundhouse shots from Tagman. Oh boy, Tagman caught the foot. Sent down, Kenny, duck under twice from Tagman. He elevates on the third time and put the boot right behind the ear. Opportunity knocking for the challenger. You gotta speed it up, Kenny. You gotta hit that next gear. Kenny Alfonso off the ropes. Tagman misses wildly with the clothesline. Captured him on the backside. Satellite, oh, Alfonso tried to bring him through on the DDT. Tankman caught him, vertical suplex. Kenny escapes and brings him through. That's it, Kenny, come on. Kenny Alfonso looking to the Collinsville crowd. Off the ropes he goes. He'll fly through. Caught by Tankman. And Calvin Tankman is going to lawn dart Alfonso. No! Alfonso slid down the backside. Tankman into the post. An opportunity opening up here for Kenny Alfonso. He'll hit the ropes and dive over the top. Sent on to the floor. There's the athleticism, the speed, the agility of Kenny Alfonso. Keep it going, Kenny. The opportunity is there. You're knocking at the door. Calvin Tankman in big trouble. Kenny Alfonso trying to climb his way all the way up. High risk district. Tankman recognized it. And Kenny Alfonso comes crashing down on that top turnbuckle. And Tankman elevates with the right hand. 
And Kenny Alfonso gets in control. He's got to speed. He's got to go fast as Tankman sits up onto that top rope. Kenny Alfonso trying to pull himself up. As he drags Alfonso all the way up to the top rope. Back elbow strike lands in a second time. Kenny Alfonso, nope, stuck there as Tankman was able to get a shot into the midsection. Now Alfonso standing on the top rope, elevates Frankensteiner! Tankman's in trouble, Tankman's in trouble! Alfonso from the top, frog splash! Hooks the leg, count one, two, new champion! No, 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 no. Oh, it was so close. It was so close to a new champion. Kenny Alfonso hit that frog splash right on the money. But Calvin Tank been able to escape at two and a half. Cinco almost felt that crown of glory title fall off his shoulder. Tankman spins him and just launches him into the air. Hard landing as Tankman powers up. Off the ropes goes Kenny Alfonso. Pop up. Oh, oh, he missed with that back fist. Alfonso trying to use as much weight as he can. The leverage wouldn't work that time. Tankman. Oh, caught him charging in with a knife edge chop. That's the kind of strike that'll make the soul escape the body. Tankman hoisting Alfonso up. Alfonso slides to the bottom buckle. Oh, what a kick. You can hear that land behind the ear. Tankman turns. He wasn't sure where Alfonso was. Dives back in. Caught him with the code breaker. Alfonso. Back handspring. Stutter. He got him. He got him with it. He got him with it. It's over. It's over. Kenny, you got to roll him. Get the cover. Get the cover. Cut one. Two. And new chip. No, two and nine tenths. Oh, that should have been all right there. That should have been all right there. The crown of glory champion holding on to his title by his fingertips right now. Kenny Alfonso. Clearly with the crowd behind him. Seated in the corner, now Cinco's on the apron. Not this nonsense again. Cinco once again getting himself involved. And Kenny Alfonso, yeah, deck him, deck him, Kenny. Oh, he'll let Tankman do it. Cinco into the railing. Oh, it's a bad day for Cinco, and oh no, low blow from Tankman. Oh, what, get out of here, Tankman, with that, I don't know. Larian on Alfonso. Oh, not again. Not again. Not another steal. Up to the shoulders. And there's the Tankman driver. Count of one, two, it's over. They stole the belt from Camaro Jackson. They stole it from Xavier Walker. And now they steal it away from Kenny Alfonso. It's the numbers game once again. Cinco's interference backfired, but in the madness, Tankman able to land a low blow on Kenny Alfonso. And Tankman retains the crown of glory. Now what is this? What is this? Calling Raheem and Mason St. Goods in, and of course, the Vultures will pick the bones. This is despicable. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know that music. The other half of Alpha Omega. It's the Quad Father. And Calvin Tankman is standing in the center of the ring. And here they go. The two biggest bulls going man on man. 
Tankman sends Jackson off the ropes. Jackson ducks underneath. He got Tankman up! Sit down, power slam from Camaro Jackson! And now, looky, looky here! The belt that was stolen from Camaro Jackson is sitting in the center of the ring. Fair play! Tankman, is Tankman gonna come in? Tankman wants to step in with Camaro Jackson! Are we gonna have an impromptu main event here? We got the money. We got the money. Oh, and Cinco and the crew. Talking Tankman into stepping back. They did it to Camaro Jackson, and Camaro Jackson's gonna do it right back to Calvin Tankman. Oh, and Tankman suddenly upset. The mind games have turned. Camaro Jackson in to rescue his best friend, Kenny Alfonso, who put up a valiant effort and nearly should have been the crown of glory champion, but perhaps it will come back to the beginning. Camaro Jackson, the ninth crown of glory champion. Will he be the 11th? Will he get that shot to take it away from Calvin Tankman? Officially in the record books, 